Hey everyone, this lesson is on the signs and symptoms of gastroesophageal reflux disease or GERD. So in this lesson, we're going to talk about what GERD is. We're also going to talk about the signs and symptoms of GERD and why they happen. So what is gastroesophageal reflux disease? It is a condition involving lower esophageal sphincter or LES weakness and inappropriate opening leading to reflux of gastric contents into the esophagus. So what does all of that mean? So when you're not eating, your lower esophageal sphincter, this part here, prevents gastric contents from going up into your esophagus. So the gastric contents are very acidic, and the problem in GERD is that this lower esophageal sphincter opens when it shouldn't. And those gastric contents, those acidic gastric contents, can enter into the esophagus, essentially burning the esophagus and causing symptoms. This is a very common condition. It affects approximately 20% of adults at some point in their life. And the risk factors for getting GERD include increased body mass index or BMI. So being overweight or obese increases your risk for having gastroesophageal reflux disease. Another risk factor for having GERD is certain dietary factors. So certain foods and beverages can cause inappropriate opening of the lower esophageal sphincter. And then certain anatomical conditions, an example of an anatomical condition that can cause GERD is hiatal hernia. Now let's talk about these signs and symptoms of GERD. So by far the most important symptom of gastroesophageal reflux disease is heartburn or acid reflux. This is described as a burning sensation or a burning chest pain, and it's oftentimes retrosternal, so it's kind of in the center of your chest behind your sternum, so there's a burning sensation. And this heartburn or this burning sensation occurs after eating or drinking. Now I'm going to talk about some exacerbating factors or things that make the heartburn worse. These include worsened when lying down. So when you're lying down, you can imagine that if this lower esophageal sphincter is open, if you lie down, the acid can pool back into your esophagus, burning your esophagus. So that is a reason why lying down, especially lying down flat, can worsen your symptoms. Eating late at night, again, for similar reasons. If you're eating late at night, oftentimes you're going to lay down and this can worsen symptoms. Certain dietary choices can worsen symptoms. So some of these dietary choices include things like chocolate, caffeine, and alcohol. If you want more information, please check my lesson on the foods and beverages to avoid if you have GERD. And then eating too quickly is also an exacerbating factor as well. Now there's some improving factors or things that make symptoms better. Symptoms can be improved with sitting up. So again, as mentioned before, if you're lying down and the lower esophageal sphincter is open, the gastric contents, those acidic gastric contents can pull back into your esophagus. So if you're sitting up, gravity can help pull those gastric contents down, preventing them from refluxing into your esophagus. Antacids can also improve symptoms of heartburn because they reduce the acidity in your stomach. Eating more slowly can also help as well. And then avoidance of certain foods and beverages. Some other important symptoms of GERD include regurgitation. So regurgitation, you can regurgitate up partially digested food because the lower esophageal sphincter is open inappropriately. It can be easier for food from the stomach to reflex up and you can have issues with regurgitation because of that. Belching is also another important symptom of GERD. Again, this is due to reflux and relaxation of the lower esophageal sphincter. We can also see issues with coughing in GERD. And GERD is actually a common cause of chronic cough. So if you see an individual who has an issue with chronic cough that lasts greater than two months, GERD may be the cause if other causes have been ruled out. And what's noted is that coughing is often worse at bedtime. So again, that's because there's some more reflux in the esophagus when you're lying down flat. And the reason why coughing can occur with gastroesophageal reflux disease is because the acid reflux can irritate the airways. We can also see hoarseness being a sign of GERD. And this, again, is due to acid reflux irritating the vocal cords. So there may be some issue with talking. There can be some choking up because of that reflux. Individuals with GERD can also describe having a sour taste in their mouth. So it's a sour or unpleasant taste in the mouth. And this often accompanies the reflux. You can imagine that if you're getting even small amounts of a taste of the gastric reflux from your esophagus into your mouth, you can understand that it can be a unpleasant taste. Some individuals with GERD can also experience excessive salivation. So this is known as water brash or acid brash. And this water brash or excessive salivation may be due to acid reflux irritating salivary glands. 
However, this is an uncommon symptom. And although I mentioned excessive salivation is a symptom of GERD, we can also see individuals with GERD having issues with dry mouth as well. So individuals with GERD can either have issues with dry mouth, so not producing enough saliva, or issues with too much production of saliva. So either one can happen with GERD. Dental issues are another sign of gastroesophageal reflux disease. Very important. Oftentimes this may be overlooked. So individuals with GERD can have issues with dental hygiene. They can even have issues with gum recession, so their gums can recede. And there can also be issues with increased risk of dental erosions. So with GERD, if an individual has uncontrolled gastroesophageal reflux disease, they can have issues with their gums receding and issues with dental erosions. And having GERD is an independent risk factor for chronic periodontitis. So very important, individuals with gastroesophageal reflux disease can have issues with their dental health. So it's important to also think about that as well. Some other signs and symptoms of GERD include nausea, and nausea can be caused by the burning chest pain. So that burning sensation can cause some issues with nausea as well, and the inappropriate relaxation of the LES, which can also lead to a sensation of nausea. And some individuals with GERD can also note epigastric pain. So we talked about retrosternal pain, but individuals with GERD can also describe epigastric pain. And epigastric pain is pain in the center of your abdomen above your belly button. And this can be due to esophageal irritation from acid reflux. And then some other important symptoms to note with regards to gastroesophageal reflux disease is dysphagia. Dysphagia is difficulty swallowing. So individuals with dysphagia may note that when they swallow food or some fluid, that that food or fluid is not going down easily. And this dysphagia may be progressive, so they may start out with having issues swallowing solid food, and then it can get worse and worse and progress to even having issues swallowing fluids. And this is more often seen in those with esophageal cancer. So if the gastroesophageal reflux disease is not properly treated, it can increase the risk for esophageal cancer and dysphagia can be a manifestation of that. And odynophagia is another symptom of GERD, and odynophagia is painful swallowing. And the reason for odynophagia is similar to dysphagia as well. So please check out my lesson on the foods and beverages to avoid if you have GERD. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe for more lessons like this one. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.